Hello YouTube, this is Idle Hands here. This is my first ever video and it is probably the most whack-ass recording setup I've ever used. Which is saying something because I've used some whack-ass recording setups in the past. There's no professional lighting here, I have this thing propped up on a chair, let's do this. So, this is a box from Nabalis, as you can tell. And uh, this is the Nabalis Marbles. It is my second item from Nabalis, and before we unbox this bad boy, I need to talk about my first item from Nabalis, which was the Vulp. I have the box right here. Uh, the Nabalis Vulp came to me in a pretty unique way. It was shipped in two parts. I got the blade first, and the initial hardware, the bushings, the screws, all that stuff came with the blade. That was fine. Later, however, I received the box that you're seeing here. And this is not, just to preface, this is not entirely Nabalis' fault, but when I opened this thing up, it was full of oil and broken glass. I'll put up some pictures of what that looks like, but uh, yeah, suffice to say, when I opened this box up, first of all, there's no foam inlay in this. Normally, the Nabalis box comes with a foam inlay. Mine didn't, because it was just the handles, kind of loose. You can actually see oil staining on the cardboard still. And you'll notice that there is no oil jar in this, because it was shattered. They did not pack it with any sort of uh, bubble wrap or padding or whatsoever, so as it was being transported, presumably the handles or my post office, <laughs> Uh, shoving the package through an inch and a half wide mail slot destroyed the oil bottle. Also, the box was pretty squished up, as you can actually see here. I moved the additional hardware out the way. You can see some damage to the box. That was how it arrived. So, obviously, that was not a great first impression from Nabalis. However, uh, once I got all the pieces, thankfully, nothing was actually damaged, and I received my Volk in teal. This is a lovely little trainer. It's got the bottle opener. It's not focusing because it's too bright in here. It's got this beautiful aluminium anodized handles, channel construction, pretty chunky. Uh, I've been flipping this thing for a little while and I am quite happy with it, honestly. It is a very good little trainer. The reviews of this thing that say that it is good are all correct. This is a great item. So I had high hopes for what's in this box and I have not actually taken it out to have a play with yet. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Because just initially, presentation wise, this is a world's beyond a little cardboard box, which is not to slight the, uh, the cardboard box. Most Bala songs will ship in a cardboard box these days, but Nabalis has started shipping them in these plastic cases. And while this is not like what you would get from Pelican or Will Hirsch's stuff, it is still a hell of a lot better than a little cardboard box. So I'm gonna pop it open. And let's have a look inside. Wow, look at that. Wow. This is the Nabalis Marbles. I got mine in silver. And it's my first time really having a look at it. Beautiful silver finish and these orange, I think just plastic pieces here. And uh, let's open it up. Got a factory tune on it. This thing actually arrived fully assembled, unlike the vault, which I had to put together myself. Thank you, Will Hirsch, by the way, for the videos on how to do that. Those were very, very helpful. So, this thing, let's give it a little flip. Ah, I can't keep it in camera. Again, this is the most busted ass recording setting ever. <laughs> and my first drop as well. All right, let's give this thing a little sort of a test flip. I'll try and do my best at this weird ass angle. The handles are, ooh wow. They are incredibly light, like ludicrously light, which I think is the point. We'll get into that later. This uh, Balasong has a very interesting design as a trainer. Let's have a look at that blade first. Look at that. Also got the bottle opener. It's a lot sharper than the Vulp. I'll get that out and compare. Here's the Vulp. 
you can actually see the more pronounced bottle opener versus this very rounded one here. This one works just fine. I've been using it to open bottles, but this one I think will be a little bit easier. It's got this cool cutout section on the blade. Now, the reason this is called the marbles is because of these. There are three little packets of them. We got what seem to be plastic or silicon. We've got these silver ones. Don't feel that heavy, I don't know what these are. Maybe steel, and these ones, which are very heavy, I'm guessing these are like bronze or something. Now what you do with these is, with the marbles, you fill in these channels here, and that adds additional weight to the knife, or the trainer, rather. It's not really a knife. Uh, man, I'm flipping left-handed now. I really need to improve my uh, recording setup. This, I'm in shambles. But hey, you're getting it all natural. Let's have a look at what else this box comes with. Got some additional hardware, another one of these little bit things. The vault did come with one of those. Some additional bushings, some screws, some washers, all that good stuff. We have, we have two torque screws, just in case you need to dual wield them, I guess. I mean, I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth. Nice having two of them. And we have another one of these little droppers, great for applying oil. I've already got one of these filled with some oil at the moment, but this is the part that broke last time. I believe this is a little glass bottle of Super Lube be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's what this is and this is one of the best blade lubricants you can get as far as I'm aware and it is nice to finally have a bottle of it that isn't broken into pieces we also have of course a little vial of Loctite blue in one of these convenient little containers that makes it very easy to both apply to screw threads and also to drop your screws straight in the bottle like I did one time that was fun uh, we're not going to talk about that. And what we're left with is this case. The foam's a little bit bent out of shape. It's not the most sturdy of designs, but it's a hell of a lot better than what I had before, which was nothing. And it's a hell of a lot better than a cardboard box. So, let's see. Let's see how my little, how all my things fit in there. Get the bolt. Stick that in there as well. And let's see. I've also got my... <laughs> My little, the 142 clone with the Weehawk blade. Stick that in there as well. Why not? Let's see how they all go. Look at that. Look, I look like a proper collector now and everything. Ain't that dandy? We got these additional little slots here, which you can put some hardware in. Or I've seen people cut this section out and just turn it into another slot for a knife. But I've only really got the three at the moment. However, I do have another knife from Nabali's on the way. I ordered myself the Hydra. Put a little picture of that on screen. Very excited to get one of those. So yeah, that's the Nabalis Marbles. Or rather, this is the Nabalis Marbles. I'm going to take a little break and fill this thing up with some of those marbles and see how it flips with the additional weight in it. Because right now, this thing is super duper light which I don't mind too much, but I am still quite new at flipping, so I don't actually know what kind of handle weights I like yet. And this, I got this specifically to help me find out. 20 minutes later. Okay, so right away I have noticed an issue with this trainer. I have one side assembled with some of these marbles in it. As you can see, I was able to get seven marbles into this side of the trainer, no problem whatsoever. However, I tried to put the same amount into this side, and this little bit here just won't go in. Just won't. And I don't know what the problem is exactly. It's like slightly too big or something. Uh, I'm gonna fiddle with it a little bit more, see if I can figure out what's going on whether it's just the size of the marbles themselves, or if I just shouldn't be putting this many into each side, or if it's a problem with this little spacer here. Whatever the problem is, I'm going to futz around with it for a little bit 
and see if I can fix it. But right away, this is uh, this is the whole point of the of the trainer. <laughs> it's not a not a great start. Let's uh, let's see if I can fix this. Okay, so I figured out a workaround. I'm not sure if this is the intended way of doing this or not, but it's the way that I had to do it. The Nivalis marbles comes with four different kinds of marble. There's these bronze ones, these silver ones, and there's these squishy foam white ones, and there are these clear, like, plastic ones. By putting a squishy foam one at the tops here, they actually kind of jut out the sides a little bit, but that was able to, you know, get the weights identical on each side. Uh, you can actually see this one does jut out a little bit more than this side, and I think that that's just, I don't know, I guess this channel here isn't quite as long as the one on this side. Whatever the case is, uh, I'm gonna give it a little flip. Oh, yeah, the, the weight difference is a lot more noticeable in this. Way more noticeable. I keep <laughs> fucking hit my camera with this, great. Good job, me. Uh, yeah, again. The worst possible setup. I'm trying to do tricks. It is not working. Let's see if I can move around here. Let's see. How does this thing chaplain? Hmm? Can I get a chaplain even? Not from this angle, I can't. I have to chaplain it uh, out of camera because I can't really move this setup. Oh yeah. So I've got this thing pretty handle biased at the moment. You can actually hear the marbles rattling as you flip this thing and just as you shake it and one thing that I forgot to do before was a tap test you can hear the marbles rattling but there is no blade tap whatsoever oh wow and there's literally zero play on this thing the factory tune on this is great I don't know if they lock tied it out of the gate I haven't fucked around with these screws yet. I'll flip it a little while, see if they start coming loose. But just out the box, factory tune on this is like perfect. So there's that. Feels really nice. I was a little worried that these handles were going to be super slippery, but they're not. They have a nice, uh, a nice texture to them. And I'm going to play around with the different weights and see what weights feel the best. I might go all gold purely for visuals. <laughs> I think that would look really cool. Uh, but weight-wise, this actually feels really good. My initial thoughts on the Nabalis marbles. Pretty impressed, honestly. Apart from this one little problem with the uh, one of these handles here. Man, I am making myself look like a fool with these things. I need a better setup. Next time I make a video, I'm gonna make a better setup than this so I can actually flip and, you know, do stuff. I am bent over a chair right now, and not in a fun way. Uh, <laughs> so, regardless, initial thoughts. I really like how this looks and feels. Bit upset that I have to use one of these little squishy foam balls in there. I might fuck around with this a little bit more to figure out if I can you know, maybe reduce the size of one of these. I don't want to damage it too much. I'm going to contact Nabalis about it, see what they say. But I was able to get a workaround and it feels really good. Sounds super nice. I'm going to flip this for a little while and I might do a follow-up review later on, tell you what I think after a lot of time flipping it. Until then, it has been a pleasure, everyone. I will be hopefully doing some more videos as time goes on. We will find out.